so seemingly everyone is switching from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve as their primary editing software. The question is, should you? Guess you could have just looked at the title. As an Emmy Award winning editor, I use Premiere Pro on a daily basis, like literally every day. And when I first switched from Final Cut 7 to Premiere Pro CS6 10 years ago, I would have never guessed that DaVinci Resolve the color grading software would ever be considered as an industry standard video editing software. The biggest obvious advantage that DaVinci Resolve has over Premiere is that it's free. Yes, it's free. Kind of. There is a free version, but there also is a paid version called DaVinci Resolve Studio for $295. Now the free version might seem like just a free trial, but it's actually a full-fledged program and you get a ton of included features in it. Like there are some basic limits, like only being able to edit up to Ultra HD 60 frames per second and advanced features like noise removal and motion blur. But for the most part, you can do a whole lot for just the basic package. However, for seasoned professionals, you may have a harder time with using the free version. Well, honestly, in the grand scheme of things, $295 is not a lot of money for an editing program. And the biggest hack to get the software, which is an awesome move by Blackmagic, is that they have it included with any Blackmagic camera that you purchase. Same easy. Now compare this to Premiere Pro. Premiere is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud suite and uses a subscription model similar to Amazon and, and Netflix. You can get Premiere Pro on its own for $20.99 a month, but most people aren't really doing that. When you get Premiere, you're usually purchasing the entire Adobe suite, which is $54.99 a month. So yeah, comparatively, it can get expensive pretty fast. It's going to be over $600 of payments continuously every year. Seems like a no brainer, right? Here's the thing, you're not just getting a Premiere, you're getting every single Adobe product at that price. It's a great package, but it's really only worth it if you're going to be using multiple programs in it. Well, hey, Mooney. With Resolve, it's just a one-time payment and potentially no payments at all if you get the free version. What are you doing? If you're not using all these other programs, that might be the better way to go. Now, regardless of the price, the most important question, is DaVinci Resolve actually better? For the longest time, this was definitely not the case. DaVinci Resolve was only a color correction software. And once it did add editing, the editing was really only used to facilitate the color correction. But year after year, DaVinci has made leaps and bounds to make their program exponentially better. Why? Because it had to. Premiere Pro has been the standard for video editing, and Adobe knows that. For years, no one could beat it. Besides Avid, but... We don't talk about Avid. But because of this, Adobe really hasn't made any earth-shattering updates to his program. And suddenly it feels like the two paths have converged. While it is industry standard, one of the biggest issues editors have had with Premiere is its bugs and its crashes. Premiere crashes a lot, and every new update seems to introduce some type of new bug, which is leaving many filmmakers frustrated and looking for a new solution. DaVinci is a very stable program that may occasionally crash, but not as notoriously often as Premiere. Now this is what I've heard a lot, but this hasn't been the same with my experience with Premiere. It really hasn't crashed much for me. Maybe it's because of my hardware or maybe it just likes me. What I do experience though, are the many bugs that people are talking about that pop up in Adobe software. It's almost as if they're not even trying to fix them. They quickly put together update patches for one bug, but introduce other ones in the process. The other major reason that DaVinci is picked over Premiere is that it also just performs faster. It renders faster, it generates previews faster, conforms files, etc. And this could be a huge deterrent for me in Premiere as an editor. When I'm editing, I perform best when I'm in a flow. And when I'm in a flow, I work really fast and I work really well. Anything that takes me out of that flow lowers the quality of my edit and it makes me go slower and makes me very angry. And Premiere still to this day has trouble with some complicated file types and gets hung up at playing back at even a quarter resolution. Whereas DaVinci Resolve, the full version, the paid version, can handle difficult files fairly easily and usually has near perfect playback at full resolution. How do they do this? It literally feels like black magic. And of course, another obvious reason that people choose DaVinci Resolve is that it has the ultimate color correction and color grading software. It's the industry standard and you have instant access to it for free. I mean, saying all this out loud, I start to wonder why I haven't switched yet. But when I really think about it, it still doesn't feel right to me, probably because I'm ingrained in Premiere and the Adobe Creative Cloud system. I've spent years perfecting my skills in Premiere and can cut through, get it, cut, because editing, 
I can cut through projects very quickly and very easily in that program. When even though it may work faster, I have a hard time editing in DaVinci Resolve. I just do. It just doesn't feel as intuitive to me. Making effects in there and adjusting clips, it, the process doesn't seem right in my mind. And the tools in Premiere just make more sense to me. But again, this is probably because I've been using this program for the past 10 years. And if you're just starting out, you're not going to be in great in anything. Now, the biggest barrier that I have from switching from Premiere to DaVinci Resolve is After Effects. As much time as I spend in Premiere, I probably spend twice as amount of time in After Effects. And Premiere has seamless integration to After Effects. Blackmagic really doesn't have an answer yet with DaVinci Resolve. It has Fusion built into it, which is, you know, nice, but it's limited. It doesn't have as many features as After Effects. And you know what? Here's the thing on top of that. If you're a DaVinci Resolve user and you're using After Effects, assuming you're getting the Creative Cloud suite, you're paying for Premiere anyway. You could save money by just using Premiere. The Creative Cloud Suite, yes, it has flaws, but it puts creators in the driver's seat to elevate their work to new heights and collaborate with other designers, animators, and so much more. Even though Premiere has had its issues, I see no reason to switch this time. Now, like I always say, I'm me and you're not me. So obviously everyone's in a different boat. If you're just starting out with editing, DaVinci Resolve is a great tool to learn from scratch. Without having any prior editing knowledge or used any other software, you might have an easier time picking it up than someone who is switching from a previous software they've been using for years. Take advantage of its low price or even its free version. But what I will say is Premiere Pro is still the standard for most production companies and agencies. So knowing that program is going to help you get work in this industry. Honestly, knowing both programs is probably even better. But from my perspective as an Emmy award winning editor, I would honestly just suggest with going with the program that is most comfortable for you, as long as it's not Final Cut X. A software doesn't make you a good editor. You make you a good editor, along with good pacing, good storytelling, good technical and those are things that you can achieve in any program that you use. And if that's the type of creator that you want to be, definitely subscribe. Editing is my favorite part of filmmaking and it's a topic that I love talking about and sharing my knowledge with people. What's your preference of editing software? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't tried either of these already, definitely start today. Try them out for yourself and see what you like the most.